I'm gonna make some fougas. And fougas is this very simple, delicious, wonderfully crusty on the outside, chewy in the middle bread. that's very easy to make in the wood-fired oven. It's very similar to pizza and focaccia in that it can be flavored with a wide variety of ingredients. And you bake it very much the same way as pizza, so that's directly on the oven floor with the fire to the side. So I'm going to make four fugas, or fugases. I don't know, however you say, whatever the plural is fugas, I'm gonna make four of them. Each one from around 500 grams of dough. And the four fougas that I'm going to make are one plain, one with oven dried tomatoes that I made in the oven and with some chopped thyme, one made with garlic confit that I also made in the oven, also with some chopped thyme, and then a simple version with some chopped rosemary. And the dough I'm making includes a poolish ferment and that should add a wonderful flavor and structure to the dough. And the ingredients for the poolish are 240 grams of plain flour, 50 grams of whole wheat flour, 290 grams of water, 0.2 grams of instant yeast. That's about 1 16th of a teaspoon, or really just a pinch. And I mix them all together the night before so it can ferment at room temperature for at least 12 hours. And then for the rest of the dough, the ingredients are 875 grams of bread flour, 525 grams of water, two grams of instant yeast, and 24 grams of salt. So I'm going to begin by loosening the poolish with some of the water and pour that into my bowl. Add all the flour, the yeast on one side, the salt on the other, and then add the remaining water. Then using my dough scraper, I'm going to mix everything together to combine until there are no dry ingredients left. Then I'm going to turn it out onto my work surface and knead for about 10 minutes. As I'm kneading, I will feel the dough getting stronger as the gluten develops, giving the dough strength and the ability to stretch. And when it feels ready, I'll place it in a bowl and leave it to bulk ferment at room temperature for around two hours. So while the dough is fermenting, that's the time I use to fire up my oven. And I prepare my oven exactly the same way I do when I'm making pizza. And you can see that in episode 12, part one of the pizza series. So it's going to be 700 degrees Fahrenheit or 370 centigrade in the center of the oven floor and the fire is gonna to be to the side. My dough has gone through its fermentation and it feels like it's ready. So I'll lightly dust my work surface and turn the dough out. And just gently stretch it out. and then I'll roughly divide it into the four pieces I need. You can knead the ingredients into each piece of dough, but I much prefer to roll it out and place half the ingredients in the center. Then fold it over and place the remaining ingredients on the dough. And then fold it over again, shape it into a ball, and place it in my proofing tray for about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how quickly it rises.
There's no wrong way to shape a fougasse. It's the kind of bread you can have some creative fun with, but traditionally they resemble an ear of wheat. First, I'm going to dust my peel with some semolina flour, and then I'm going to start with the plain fougasse. I'll gently stretch it out, and then using my dough scraper, make two cuts down the middle. and then several cuts down the sides. And then gently stretch it out to open up the cuts. Then I'll place the fougasse on the peel. I like to do the wide end facing away from me because I feel like this helps it keep its shape when I slide it into the oven. And then finish it with a few decorative cuts around the outside and then it's ready to go in the oven. The openness of the bread allows it to bake fairly quickly once it's in the oven. So it's only going to take about maybe eight to 10 minutes and during that time I'll rotate it fairly frequently to make sure it doesn't burn.